Hi folks, I'm Paul. Welcome back to Recycle Model Railways. Today it's just a very short one because I'm looking for some suggestions. It's all about the Flying Scotsman. Okay, so what am I on about when I said it's about the Flying Scotsman? This little lot here. So a couple of weeks ago I decided for some reason that I wanted a Flying Scotsman for my eventual layout. Didn't have one on, on my train set when I was a kid so it's not because of that. I did see the Flying Scotsman quite a lot when I was a younger kid. But I just decided why not, it's a very nostalgic train something that everyone recognises so why not so I went on eBay and might have got a little carried away we've got one loco with its tender I bought these two together a uh, guy was selling the pair of them people charge some silly money when you want to buy the tenders for these things I'm guessing it's because of what I'm planning and I actually have another Tra train due with another tender so I'm going to end up with two logos and four tenders I only actually need well actually no I need all four of them uh, but it would mean I'd have an engine spare so my original thought was to get a Scotsman two tenders do the conversion work between these two to make it a double corridor second tender as it was when it went to the United States and I thought it was quite a good look and then I kind of got it in my head that maybe I might want to do it differently and do it in its current is it Brunswick green not sure with the smoke deflectors but then it was never ever seen or as far as I'm aware in its the darker green in British Rail with smoke deflectors so I'm at a bit of a quandary so anyone if you're watching put a comment on what would you do would you stick with the original LNER double tender in its original colours and then maybe do another train in the new darker green with British Rail 60103 um, put its smoke deflectors on etc what would you do or even maybe because I did make a big mistake <laughs> I bought this, it was fairly cheap, and I thought, well, I actually need this, sorry, this, on the front end, the buffer detail, uh, on the model I've got behind me, all of that was broken off when it arrived. So, I bought this thinking, well, I might be able to just use that and put it on. Um, I can fabricate one myself, but it's quite a nice body, this, it's got proper handrails on it. You know, it's got nice sprung buffers. Uh, yeah, it doesn't go a great deal further than that. But it's not a bad body. And it's a bit of a waste. The problem is, as you can see, this there will never have had a ring field motor inside it. So it's clearly for a tender driven Flying Scotsman set. So I could get the chassis for this and the driven tender and make up a third unit in which case you then ask yourself the question well, what do you do with the third one do I paint it in its wartime colours which was black yes there's been three colour variants I'm not so sure whether I'm keen on the black because I've got a couple of steam low cores already I don't have many because the period I'm thinking of setting mine in is transition between steam to diesel so a lot of the, the steam locals I've got are all black, all at the end of the lathe, all looking pretty heavily worn. Uh, and I can't think, do I really want a flying Scotsman that uh, is black? It just doesn't sound right. But that's why I'm doing the video. I want to know what you people think. I want to know what you out there looking at this... Uh, think of the ideas or if you've got any of your own 
obviously I'm going to strip them all, I'm going to heavily detail them, repaint them, renumber them, relivery them, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to do as much as I possibly can to make these things look really good, really heavily detailed, uh, not cut any corners, etc. Uh, and just try and make them look really good so that you could kind of, all right, yeah, the engines aren't as fancy as the new ones, but looking at them physically, it might look just as good as the 500 quid double tenders that you can go and buy. So that's it. Um, I just want to know what people think. Have you got any answers? Have you got any thoughts? Any opinions? Jot them down. Let me know. And for those of you who saw the last video when I was going to get started with this, well, I kind of have. I haven't finished yet. But it's got its Peter Spares XO3 replacement sitting on it. Fitted in really well, but I am going to do a video showing that this all complete. Um, new buffers are going to go on it because it's missing buffers at the front and back. Cab crew cleaned up, and I might give it a quick coat of satin spray paint just to make it look a little bit nicer. But that's going to be the next video that comes along. So, um, yeah, you know what my plan is with the Scotsman. Um, I have given Peter's Spares, which is my local, very local to me, model shop. Um, a very long list of things that I want, based on the double tender, based on the, the new colours, etc. Um but yeah give me your ideas let me know what you think um good or bad thanks for watching catch you later